So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys my top five most used productivity apps at the moment. So I use these for school, internships, everything in between. Let's get started. First app on the list is none other than Pixelmatic. They are a photo editing app that you can use for any of your creative projects. When I first heard about this app, I was like, this is a huge lifesaver and it has saved me so much time. You can use this to remove backgrounds from objects, blend photos together, and so much more. The possibilities are endless. I mainly like to use this app to remove backgrounds from objects because that tends to be a very time consuming task when you do it manually. So I've just been using their magic cut feature which is phenomenal honestly it's so clean and precise in comparison to other editing apps out there i actually used the app and the magic cut tool to make my thumbnail for my previous video the process was just so easy and i'm obsessed with it and just another really cute fun thing that i've been doing with this app is making little friendship like christmas collages for my friends i've just been trying to find like new fun ways to really jazz up the presents that i'm gonna give them so make sure to click on my link down below to start your your free seven day trial with Pixelmatic. First of all, I just want to say that I love the vintage art style of this app. There's a lot of minimal productivity apps out there, so sometimes they all tend to look the same, but this Pomodoro app stood out to me. I mean, just look at the face of this tomato. Is that not the funniest and cutest thing that you've ever seen? There's just so much personality in here and I love it. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Pomodoro method, it's when you set a timer for 25 minutes of intense focus without any distractions, and then you take a small break afterwards. I like to use this every once in a while when I have like really small menial tasks that for some reason I just can't seem to like sit down and focus on so that's when I whip out my Pomodoro app and I find that it really really helps to get me to focus and just kind of like finish and just get my shit together so yeah it's just been really helpful so far all right, next up is Notion. Of course, you guys know that I had to include this app. Like this was just a must. I use this to organize practically every aspect of my life. And when I say this, I mean it in the most literal way because I have a school page, I have a personal page, I have a journal page, a book page, everything that you could possibly think of i use notion for it um, i have a link down below that you guys can use to sign up for your free personal plan um, i love it because everything is customizable there are no boundaries no limits to what you could do with this i'm always switching in between my laptop and phone so whenever i need to quickly refer to my to-do list all i gotta do is just open it up on my phone and everything syncs up i'm telling you the moment you get notion you're gonna be inspired to want to get your life together because that's what tends to happen i mean at least that's what happened with me. I can't get enough of really simple to-do lists. I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's just the very minimal interfaces that really like suck me in. I've introduced quite a few before on this channel, but I'm always like looking for new ones. I find that they're so great to use, especially for when you're going out grocery shopping and you just have to make a little list on the fly. Little to-do lists like this are so helpful when you're doing like little assignments here and there that require a bunch of like little steps along the way and you don't want to clutter your usual planner with those steps so then that's when you'll use like an app like this their interface is just so minimal so sleek so simple you can switch in between light and dark mode other than that there's not that many features it's very straightforward which means less clutter and more room to focus on what you have to get done now, if you don't like the way that Deem looks, there's also this app called Irogami, which can also be used as a little memo app. It's cute and simple. Pretty pastel colors on here are probably one of the main selling points. Just like Deem, it's pretty simple and straightforward. There's not much to it. You can change up the fonts and even the colors, so it's pretty customizable for a free app, and I honestly really appreciate that. That's basically it for the top five productivity apps that I'm currently using at the moment feel free to share any that you're using as always i'm always open to suggestions and if there's any that you would like for me to mention in any of my future app videos feel free to leave them down below in the comments and as always i will see you in the next one bye